How to place a stop loss order with E-Trades app. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. Hit that like, comment, and share button. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, you are now tuned in to the Investor Show. As always, this is your gracious host, the Prince of Investing, Prince Dice, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful city and state of Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. And as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. So for people out there who may not know what a stop loss is, a stop loss is like, hey, for example, I have Apple pulled up, and Apple is trading right now for $121, and I'm saying, hey, I want to buy this stock, but let's say if this stock drops down, I want to, some people call it be stopped out or to sell the stock. I don't want to, you know, you're minimizing your losses. Let's say if Apple tomorrow morning shoots down to 100 bucks, you can put in a stop loss order to say sell Apple stock at 115 or at 20 uh at 120 bucks whatever you want to do. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on the E-Trade mobile app. So the first thing you do um you're going to go to the little uh search hourglass at the top right hand side and once you get here you type in whatever symbol for example I just have Apple pulled up so you put up whatever stock you want to buy. Once you have the stock you want to buy, you're going to hit the trade button on the top right, the little purple button that says trade, trade. Now, once you hit that trade button, it's going to ask you here, let's say what type of order you want to do. Hey, I want to buy. When it says order type, say I want to buy. How many, how many do you want to buy? Let's say I want to buy one. Hit the quantity button there. Then it says uh, the price type. I say I want to buy market, meaning I want to get the best price on the market. Then it says term is good for today, or you can put in, you know, sometimes it can have 60 days or whatever. It's good for today. I want to buy one share of Apple at the market at the best price on the market. Right below good for the term that says good for day. Below that, you're going to see advanced order. Slide that little button that says advanced order on the right to the right of advanced order. Boom. Now, when you hit that, it's going to ask you a little thing is going to come up at the bottom that says order type. Click on order type. Under order type, you're going to see stop loss order. Click on stop loss order. Once you click on, click on the stop order, uh, stop loss order, it's going to ask you the price type. It's saying, hey, when do you want to be able to sell one share of Apple? I hit the price type. I can say, hey, I want you to stop on quote, meaning that uh, if you hit this price, Go into a market order. Stop limit quote means if the stock hits um, if the stock hits a certain price, sell for this price. For prime example, if uh, if Apple hits one hundred and fifteen dollars, put in a market order for one hundred and twelve dollars. Whatever the case may be, you can put in whatever price. A trailing stop. A trailing stop means that. Um, Trailing stop dollar signs mean hey, uh, follow Apple by five dollars. So as long as it's going up. Keep me in there, but if it uh, falls down by five dollars, get me out. You can do it by percentage. Let's say Apple is going up, 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 and hey, if it turns, if Apple drops more than five percent, get me out. Turn me into a market order, right? So let's say if you're going to do stop on quote, right? So now you put in your stop price. Boom. So my stop price may be a uh, hundred and fifteen dollars. So essentially, I am saying, hey, I want to buy one share of uh, Apple for $121 at the market order. But if it drops below $150 in the next, and right here below that, it says term. You, the term here, you can do it for 60 days or good for the day. Within the next 60 days, if Apple hits $115, get me out of there. So this is a way you can minimize your losses or calculate your losses by using stop orders. So you can put a stop price in, like say, hey, you know, I need to get out um, and move to something else. So, ladies and gentlemen, and then you hit the preview button and buy button. Now, this will buy me a share of Apple. And then also, uh, within the next 60 days, if Apple hits $115, it would turn into a market order to sell it, minimizing my losses. All right? That's a stop loss. And that's how you buy with E-Trade Mobile app. So, until the next video, podcast, cartoon, book, or whatever else crazy you see me do around the globe, my name is Prince Dykes. Peace. Be safe. I'm out. And thank you. Thank you.